Leffen just made top eight at Evo. And it wasn't in Melee. It wasn't even in Smash. It was in Guilty Gear Strive. Now, coincidentally, this isn't the first time that Leffen has made top six at Evo in Guilty Gear. I mentioned it in this video here when I talked about Riddles' Street Fighter VI run at Gommel 2023. But this time, Leffen was looking to improve on last year's placement. Today, we'll be taking a look at Leffen's run at Evo 2023 in Guilty Gear Strive. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we begin, just a reminder that if you want to support me monetarily, you can do so by either becoming a patron or by becoming a member on my YouTube channel. The links to both of which are in the description down below, and both of which starting at just 99 cents per month. Alright, let's get started. Leffen has a storied history with Guilty Gear Strive at EVO, placing third at EVO 2022 in Strive. This could arguably be called a huge breakout performance, as Leffen came into that turn as the 39th seed, defeating Daru in winter semis on stream 3-2, but then losing in another game 5 to Umisho, and then losing in losers finals 3-1 to Slash for a final placement of third. But Leffen had made his name known, this time coming into EVO 2023 as the 8th seed. And with a total of around 2,500 entrants, Leffen would have to work hard for his final finish. Leffen started off the weekend by getting through round 1 pools, getting victories over Digi, Andai, and Snorlaxative, although sadly no game count is available for these sets. Leffen went up into round 2 pools afterwards, 3-0-ing Devon, clutching a game 5 versus Kibotsu, and then 3-0-ing Witch Hazel to make it into top 96. In winner's quarterfinals of top 96, Leffen 3 0 Solstice, the 24th seed, then moving on to clutch yet another game 5 against Peppery Slash, the 23rd seed, winning 3 2. With this victory, Leffen moved out from top 96 and into top 24, where Leffen just had to win one more set to make top 8, or I'm sorry, top 6 as it was at this year's Evo. However, Leffen would prove to be up to the challenge, winning 3-0 over Varix, who was actually on a crazy run themselves, eventually placing 5th as the 32nd seed. Now that Leffen had made it into top 6, it was time for him to go up against Chirara in winter semifinals. For this set, and for the entire tourney for that matter, Leffen stuck with the character Happy Chaos. Game 1 seemed to start off well for Leffen, as he started off with an early combo, but after a reversal from Chiara, Leffen couldn't get back into advantage state, with Chiara taking the first round in a dominant combo. First at the stage, stage round start, that was ridiculous. He can play a very, very aggressive. When round 2 started, Leffen had a similar start, having a good beginning but getting reversal to even health. However, Leffen was able to pull off a reversal and kept pushing his advantage to win round 2. Every angle covered right there, the methodical play. For round three, Leffen started off dominantly, doing over half the health bar with his great combos, with Chirara never getting an opening to leave disadvantage. Leffen carried that combo all the way to win game one. So that was like, he's got first, but might not get a chance to use it. Oh, the wrist breakers right yeah. there. Shout out to IMC Yipes. Moving into game two, the two players started swinging at each other, but it was Leffen who found the key openings and conversions into critical combos to win round one quickly. Getting into round 2, Leffen kept stringing together the combos that have made him his money in this set, and Chirara simply did not have an answer. With one health left, all Leffen had to do was zone and chip a little damage to win game 2. Going into game 3, Leffen's advantage state couldn't be cleaner, denying a reversal from Chirara and winning round 1. Leffen started round 2 in disadvantage, Chirara getting a good combo off on Leffen, getting a near perfect to bring game 3 to a decisive round. It's a job though. There we go. All right. Caught a clone come out right here, but no. They got that. One round, but still match point right now for Leffen. And with a good counter to start off round three, Leffen was able to avoid Chirara's combo, starting his own and getting huge damage on Chirara, getting a wall break and quickly ending the game right after, defeating Chirara in a clean 3 up. This set was a key example of Leffen's phenomenal advantage state, as well as perhaps showing to Chirara's lack of matchup experience, as Japan lacks very many happy chaos players. But either way, Leffen got to move on into Winner's Finals versus Daru. This is the same exact player that Leffen fought in Winner's Semi-Finals of EVO 2022, the Game 5 set we played at the beginning of this video. The rematch from last year's EVO. Daru and Leffen threw down in Winner's Finals. Leffen started off Round 1 of Game 1 with a phenomenal combo, doing over 3 fourths of Daru's health. And while Leffen got pretty close to dying himself, he managed to close out our Round 1. No matter who her opponent is, right? She's gonna hit you no matter what. Yeah, you saw the behind the back, the Magic Johnson shot right there from Leffen off the stop. Round two started off dominantly, with Leffen getting a quick half health and wall break combo, Daru being pinned in the corner, 
and even though Daru managed to get out of the corner for a brief moment, Leffen was able to simply close out that game one. Game two started off with Daru in the lead, getting an early combo on Leffen and quickly whittling down his health bar. After the wall break, Leffen simply didn't have enough health to make any moves, going down in round one. When round two began, Leffen began his classic combos, doing about two thirds of Daru's health on the first wall break and quickly wrapping up round two. And Leffen just smothering Daru right now. Same exact sequence as last time, right? Breaks the wall, then. In the decisive round three, Daru started off by pinning Leffen in the corner, with Leffen responding but not being able to keep up his advantage state. However, with a good counter from Leffen on Daru's combo, Leffen got a wall break. Unfortunately for Leffen, Daru was able to clutch out that decisive round three, taking game two and moving the set to 1-1. Daru started off game three with a good combo, but it would be Leffen who would cause the first wall break, doing buckets of damage to finish off round one easily. Shades plus frames, block on that, yes, and interrupt the sound. He's done, he's been like, we talk about training mode, right? You're not getting away with any free Round two started off with Daru's attempt at a combo starter getting reversal, but it would be Daru who would find the combo to start off the round. But with a good reversal from Leffen, the two of them were at even standings, with both players desperately looking for an opening. But it would be Leffen who would finish off the round in the end, clutching out game three and going up 2-1. In round one of game four, Daru started off with a phenomenal combo, getting a perfect in round one on our Swedish hero. Round two started off great for Daru, but with an aggressive option from Leffen, he was able to reverse the advantage, putting the pressure onto Daru and not letting go until the round was done. Oh, actually ran out of focus right there. Leffen still keeping the pressure up. Perfectly timed on the frame trap. Now one round away. In the next round, Leffen would start off with some good neutral before getting a good half health combo on Daru. Never letting up the pressure onto Daru and with some stylish spacing shots, the Swedish Schwab swept his way into grand finals, winning 3-1 over Daru. Leffen was now in grand finals winner's side of Guilty Gear Strive at EVO 2023. Leffen's final opponent would be Nubenheimer, Spelled as N-B-N-H-M-R, but it's pronounced Nubenheimer. I think that's really funny. Either way, Leffen and Nubenheimer threw down in the penultimate chapter of both the tournament and our video today. Leffen started off round one well, doing over half of Nubenheimer's HP and getting a wall break perfectly. Leffen kept the advantage up, pushing forward and winning round one in a perfect to start off grand. Corner right here. Mongo Stanfield yeah. status for the Happy Chaos. You work for me, fam. There is the perfect on the first round. Leffen went up in round two just as dominantly, doing two thirds of the health bar without taking a hit, getting yet another wall break and keeping the pressure on, winning game one without even being hit once, starting off with a double perfect. First round working on a double perfect right now. BRC, this is what I talked about. The mix is not oh! over. The mix is not over. And you saw the micro dash before the overhead off the fuzzy. He really made you think he was going to go low. Leffen went into game two, finally getting hit by Nubenheimer. But Leffen was able to make a reversal. And after the wall break, Nubenheimer got more hits and combos racked up, getting a wall break himself before Leffen started back with another combo, making it even between the two. But it was Nubenheimer with an aggressive option to take round one. Leffen started round two well, dealing nearly half of Noob's HP and avoiding the reversal, getting a wall break. After being trapped in the corner for a hot minute, Leffen got one more combo, winning round two and bringing them to a decisive round. Nubenheimer started off the final round in advantage, but Leffen reversed the situation. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, the two players going back and forth with one another, health being traded like crazy. But it would be Leffen who found the critical opening and won game two in a decisive round three. Game three started off with Nubenheimer starting well, but Leffen found a reversal, getting a massive combo. But with another reversal from Noob, the two went even on health. However, Leffen would be the one to find the critical hits to close out round one for himself. Nubenheimer opened off round two with a phenomenal combo, melting Leffen's health without taking a hit. And after a few more straight hits from the wall break, we went to a decisive round three. He didn't need to commit with Leffen finding a critical opening from the Guns of Happy Chaos, Leffen went up and got an insanely good combo, getting a wall break with almost full health. And with a little more chip damage, Leffen would defeat Nubenheimer 3-0 in Grand Finals, an absolute sweep. This VOD of Grands is less than 10 minutes, partly being the sweep of Grands and partly being the volatile nature of Guilty Gear Strive. Leffen has now won two EVOs in two different games, Smash Brothers Melee and Guilty Gear Strive. You don't need me to tell you how impressive that is. And that's going to be it for today's video. 
I know this was very different from my usual type of video in more ways than one, but let me know if you enjoyed it. Real quick before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Lasser and Fire Scroll 333, as well as my YouTube members Storm Troiper, Loco Soco, Mattoon, Roro Poke, and an extra special thanks to my tier 2 member Mike G. Throughout this week, I'll be making some videos on some of the Smash tournaments that took place this weekend, like Dose to Sell. But also, I'm curious, do you guys think I should make a video on Street Fighter 6 at EVO? I might actually do it. I think it would be fun. Let me know down below. Until tomorrow, I've been Rister Mice, and thank you all so much for watching. It's my stress, that's for sure.